Or, oh, yeah, let me get the mic in the right place. Alright, so the stream was almost not a clusterfuck. Whew, but yeah, happy Friday, everybody. How y'all doing? Um, it's been a crazy busy day for me. Uh, I avoid those at all costs. It wasn't bad. It wasn't a bad day, but it was just like one thing after another, you know, that kind of thing. But I got curious, and I looked this up. So this game is 15 years old in two days. Um, like, I, I'll never forget picking this up. Like, you know, because I played it on the 360 originally. But I, it was originally supposed to come out in May of 2007, I believe. And then it got a uh, six-month delay at the last moment. Or sometime before it was supposed to release. But um, And yeah, I remember picking this up day one. And just going crazy with it. And then I got... I, you know, I, I'll wait till we get to Vermeer to retell the Red Ring of Death story. Um, and I need to figure out how many times I've already played the first game. Um, Cause I think this is five or six, but who knows? Anyway, let's get to it guys. Enough of me rambling. Ramble on. It is interesting though, how many like, there were multiple games in that era, you know, where a game released and it was going to be the first of a trilogy, and then, um, like, there's that totally insane guy, um, Silicon Knights, uh, Dennis Dyack, shit. Oh, oh. Colton is resubbed. Thank you, sir. Much appreciated, sir. I take back what I just said about you. How you doing tonight? Set the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. I didn't say anything. I was kidding. Saren. Yeah, they did a really good job of the cleanup with uh, remastering this game. Even though remaster is the wrong word. Because, uh, like, that's a... Uh, Like, you, it's not possible to remaster a game. Demolition charges. The Geth must have planted them. Hurry! Oh, we need shit. to find them all and shut them down. Oops. Come on. All right, fine. I'll help my team out. Oh, I keep hitting wrong buttons, man. All 
All right, one charge remaining. Where you be at? Fuck. Oh. Alright, I think the last one's over here. Yeah. So how was your week, Colton? And have you beaten Xenoblade Chronicles 3 yet? Whoop. I just failed one of the longest standing boss challenges in OSRS because of my dog. Ugh. Are we feeling bad for the dog at all? Or no? I mean, I took the risk doing it on the couch with her around. Ah. She smacked my mouse. That's awful, dude. I'm so sorry. And tanked a big hit. Okay. So let's go and equip some of this shit. <sighs> oh, that's terrible, man. I am so sorry. Takes an hour and a half to get to that boss. Oof. Man, I want to keep the N7 armor as long as I can. But I guess not. No, we'll go back. We'll revert. We'll give another go this weekend, I'm sure. I never actually beat this boss back in the day. Would be, would be my first time. Damn. That fucking dog. Okay. 
All right. Ooh, another one. Okay, here we go. Look at that Normandy, bootay. the beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. We identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime, the Normandy, a human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. She has quite a bit of cleavage. That's uh, Marina Sirtis, Deanna Troy, for anyone. Doctor? Doctor Chakwas. I think she's waking up. You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? Like the morning after shore leave. How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. Time for some Gears 5. Have a good stream. Yeah, man, enjoy the Gears. Love me some Gears. I expect better of you, Lieutenant. You endangered the entire mission. Don't be so hard on him, Commander. We have no idea if that's what actually set it off. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. And the blast knocked you cold. Williams and I had to carry you back here to the ship. I appreciate it. Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Jesus. Death, destruction... Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh. Captain Anderson. That was well How's timed. How's our XO holding up, Doctor? Well, all the readings look normal. I'd say the Commander's going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, man. Like I was, I was pretty intent 
it's been a bit since I've seen all this, and then yeah, then I, then you blew my head off. So, how you doing tonight, Davlin Games? What's your weekend plans? I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. Did we leave Gunnery Chief Williams back on Eden Prime? I figured we could use a soldier like her. She's been reassigned to the Normandy. Williams is a good soldier. She deserves it. Lieutenant Elenko agrees with you. That's why I added her to our crew. Intel dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were walking into down there. That's why things went to hell. The Geth haven't been outside the Vale in two centuries, Commander. Nobody could have predicted this. Contract will be done this evening. That'd be awesome, man. Yo, yeah, next time we talk in private, I gotta tell you, I have a contractor from hell story for you. You're not gonna believe. Um, but yeah, it was told to me over dinner tonight. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Gether invading. The Council's going to want answers. The Council can kiss my ass. I won't let them blame me for losing the beacon. I didn't do anything wrong. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren, that other Turian. Saren's a specter, one of the best, a living legend. But if he's working with the Geth, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous. And he hates humans. Why? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. A lot of aliens think that way. Most of them don't do anything about it. But Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how. I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. Yeah, good luck with that. They'll think I'm crazy. We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology, blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction, whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation, his politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the Beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. 52 bucks a gallon. That's incredible, dude. I can't believe paint costs that much. Like, does it come with a bunch of, like, like, rum and mushrooms? And some weed? Or fentanyl? Like, it's, like, it's, it's, it's paint that you can lick off the wall and get high. Like, that would be worth 52 bucks a gallon. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. When have they ever done anything for humanity? If we expose Saren as a traitor, the Council will revoke his specter status. I'll contact the Ambassador and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. So yeah, we gotta remember, I gotta stay dark as fuck in the, it, with this playthrough. Glad to see you're okay, Commander. Commander, I'm glad to see you're okay. Losing Jenkins was hard on the crew, and I'm glad we didn't lose you too. Things were pretty rough down there. Yeah, you never get used to seeing dead civilians. Doesn't seem right somehow. But at least you stopped Saren from wiping out the whole colony. I couldn't have done it without you. 
We're Marines. We stick together. And I'm just sorry that we lost Jenkins. Yeah, I wish I could have done something to save him. I was there. You did everything right. It was just bad luck. It's been a hell of a shakedown, Cruz. Our first mission ends with one Spectre killing another. The Citadel Council's not going to be happy about that. They'll probably use it to lever more concessions out of the Alliance. You've got a good grasp of the situation. You a career man? Yeah, a lot of biotics are. We're unrestricted, but we sure don't go undocumented. May as well get a paycheck for it. Besides, my father served. I made him proud when I enlisted. Eventually. But is that why you're here? Because of your family? I was a regular Navy brat. I got a little more noteworthy than the folks expected. Oh, that's right. Torfin. They're a messy business. I imagine that bought you a new post in the fleet. Word is we're heading for the Citadel, ma'am. Can you, uh, tell me why? The Captain hopes the Ambassador can get an audience with the Council. Tell them what Saren's been up to. Makes sense. They'd probably like to know he's not working for them anymore. Whatever happens, we'll be ready, Commander. Joker's waiting for you on the bridge. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? How well do you know the Lieutenant? I'd never worked with him before this mission, but he has an impressive service record. Over a dozen special commendations. Tends to keep to himself, though. Maybe because of the headaches. It's not easy being an L2. Like, her breasts almost look like testicles. What does that have to do with it? Well, most biotics now use the L3 implants. Lieutenant Alenka was wired for the old L2 configuration. Sometimes there are complications. What kind of complications? Severe mental disabilities, insanity, crippling physical pain. There's a long list of horrific side effects. Hayden's lucky. He just gets migraines. What do you know about Captain Anderson? I've served with him for a few tours now. He knows when to let things slide and when to crack the whip. The crew knows he's seen pretty much anything they'll ever run into. And he cares hey, about the people under his command. Uh, bring me a mount, dude. But so, Davlin, you uh, have you not been able to put all that like under insurance, or like you haven't hit your deductible, something like that? How did you end up serving on an alliance ship? I enlisted right out of med school. Earth always seemed boring to me, too safe. To secure. I figured the colonies were teeming with exotic adventure. I wanted to travel the stars, tending the wounds of tough soldiers with piercing eyes and sensitive souls. <laughs> Turns out military life isn't quite as romantic as I'd imagined. But humanity needs the Alliance if we want to keep expanding through the Traverse, and the Alliance always needs good doctors. So I stayed on to do my part. That's terrible, dude. I am so sorry to hear that. Oh, they don't cover foundation settling, correct? Oh. Okay. Huh. That gives me something to think about. Ever think you made the wrong choice? Sometimes I think about opening a private practice back on Earth. Or maybe taking a position at one of the new med centers out in the colonies. But there's something special about working on soldiers. If I left the Alliance now, I'd feel like I was abandoning them. But like I said, her breasts kind of look like testicles. How did you end up serving on an alliance? I enlisted. Uh, but humanity needs the alliance if we want to keep it. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. But you see what I'm saying? Well, I guess that uniform's just really tight. Yeah, it's funny because like, I always get the sense they're trying to convey that she's like an older lady. But man, I'd give it to Dr. Chakwas all day long. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. Jenkins was a valuable part of this crew. Part of me feels guilty over what happened. If Jenkins was still alive, I might not be here. You're a good soldier, Williams. You belong on the Normandy. Thanks, Commander. I appreciate that. Things were pretty rough down there. Are you okay? I've seen friends die before. It comes with being a Marine. 
to see my whole unit wiped out. And you never get used to seeing dead civilians. But things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't shown up. We couldn't have done it without you, Williams. Thanks, Commander. I have to admit, I was a little worried about being assigned to the Normandy. It's nice when someone makes you feel welcome. I think you're gonna fit in here just fine, Williams. Thanks, Commander. All right. All right, break it up, break it up, come on. Go speak to Joker when you're ready. Tell him to bring the Normandy into dock. The Admiral's pretty uh, cool about me just barging into his... Uh, 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 what do you call it? I was about to ask if this was an all-female crew. This is the first guy... No, like we, we talked to uh, Caden also. Uh, Mass Effect has always been decent about balancing the sexes um, but yes yeah, so, yeah but since I have a female shepherd uh, currently it's a little tiny bit tilted female females like every time someone uses the word I think of the Ferengi like when anyone says says or writes female, I just think of uh, the Ferengi from Star Trek. You're females. Shame about Jenkins, Commander. Hey, Commander. Looking for some extra supplies before you head out? What have you got? Whatever you want. Armor, weapons, mods. It's not standard Alliance issue, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Well, as long as you don't mind paying for it. Yeah, you know, I gotta say, uh, creeping further into my mid-40s, getting older hurts. Like, you know, I've got bad knees, I've got bad hips, bad ankles, bad back, all the shit. And then, uh, loving my batlet, dude. Oh, you gotta spin that thing around tomorrow night when you're streaming. Oh, are we doing golf tomorrow night? Or are you doing something? Else? Oh, oh shit! Do you want to do um, Dark Tide tomorrow night? Why should I pay you for my weapons and armor? My stuff doesn't come from the Alliance. I have to purchase it myself, and it's not cheap. Hell, the licenses alone have set me back more than I'd like. But no licenses, no goods. Without the goods, I'm out of a job. What are licenses? Why do you need them? Manufacturers sell licenses. Each license allows me to buy and sell a certain brand of product. I already have several basic ones, but you'll need to buy more if you want me to bring in different brands. Exact same here. Many of the best licenses are hard to get, but they're well worth the cost if you can find them. What do the different manufacturers offer? There are too many for me to keep track of, but each license will explain what it's good for. How often will you get new items? Well, that depends on how many licenses you've purchased. But I'll rotate items on a regular basis regardless. And any time we land someplace with a big enough port, I'll buy, sell, and trade whatever I can. Check back often. I need to move items quickly, so only the most basic items will be stocked consistently. Yeah, actually, matter of fact, I haven't even downloaded Dark Tide yet. I got, I'll do it after the stream tonight. But yeah, just let me know. If you're not, if you're not interested, don't worry about it. Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. You bet, Commander. Oh, I can't afford that.
I'm actually considering Dark Tide as an option. I'm down for that. Cool. Cool. All right. Um, let's go get yelled at by aliens. Oh, whoops. Wow. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. Losing Jenkins was hard enough on you. Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. and everything. Ha! Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower, too. Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing is on our side, then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower. Normandy out. Wow, the music is really loud. This is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to dock 422. Relative to the voices. We will have to adjust that. Outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue Spectre. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Seren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. I'm not going to sit on my ass just because the Council doesn't want to do anything. If they won't stop Saren, I will. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not hers. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate politicians. Yeah, me too, Ash. So let's hack his computer. Oh, motherfucker. Oh, right. But yeah, Dark Tide looks awesome. I mean, granted, I love anything Warhammer 40k. Um, 
And it's funny, I was so curious about Vermintide, but I was like, oh, I don't like Warhammer. 40k, though, I'll play anything. 40k. Hello there, human. Sincere apology, but I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. You seem distressed. Is there something I can do to help? Alarmed response. You overheard that, did you? This is all going so wrong. And it is the Asari consort's fault. She's the one who started all this. Who's this Asari consort? Curious. You have not heard. You must be new to the Citadel. Everyone knows Shatyura, the consort. I cannot speak more about this problem. It is too sensitive. Suffice it to say, she has compromised my authority as a diplomat. Where can I find the Cesari consort? She is across the bridge from here. Her offices are easy enough to spot. Good day, human. Please greeting. Human, it is always good to see your kind. I am Ambassador Kalen. Genuine query. Is there something I can do for you this day? Tell me more about your species. Genuine enthusiasm. I delight in telling the history of my people. It is agreeable to share our culture with others. Tell me about the history and origins of the Elcor. The Elcor were just beginning to explore Council space when the Asari first made contact with us. With their help, we discovered the relay closest to our system, and from there the Citadel. Proudly. Within one lifetime we established a regular route to the Citadel, and quickly became one of the more active species living on this great station. Yeah, the Elcor are probably one of my favorite species in like this entire series. Like them and the uh, the little pudgy guy next to us. I can't remember what they're called. But like, Bioware is so good at making fun of itself when it needs to. And I think it's Mass Effect 2. You actually get to hear an Elcor production of like Julius Caesar or Romeo and Juliet or something. And it is just like laugh out loud funny. I'd like to know more about the culture of the Elcor. Frankly, we Elcor prefer the safety and familiarity of our own colonies to the confines of space travel. Our society is built on small, tight-knit groups, though we are always welcoming to outsiders. Our government tends to be very stable. Our people are not very comfortable with sudden changes. I will do that, Davlin. Why do you explain what you're about to say? Our people communicate less through words and more through scent and slight movements. Plainly, we discovered our vocal expression was not enough to convey the feelings of our conversations. Hey, to the other amazing Krillin. Why do you bother, Kalen? These Earth Clan don't really care about our ways. Remorseful response, Din. You don't truly believe that. And if you do, I am very sorry for you. Yeah, Din is such a cock. Yeah, the amazing Krillin, welcome to the stream. How's your Friday night? What are your weekend plans? What's going on? What do you do here? Modestly. I work to bring the problems and the requests of the Elcor groups to the attention of the council. Ha! Huh. They only give us these positions to keep us quiet. The council doesn't care about our races. Chastising rebuke. Your tone is inappropriate, Dan. This human is not to blame for your malcontent or your misconceived suspicions. What do you see in Sunday? I should go. Goodbye, Ambassador. Sincere farewell. Good day to you, human. Enjoy your time on the Citadel. Yeah, I'm actually going to start doing that, people. Like, ending conversations by saying, I should go. 
Earth Clan, you are in the wrong place, I think. Your ambassador is next door in the large office. Chastising remark. Don't be so rude, Din. At least introduce yourself. <sighs> I am Din Korlak, Volus Ambassador. Is Volus. there something I can do for you, Earth Clan? So, whoop, 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 whoop. oh, thanks for the follow, Amazing Kriller. I was gonna ask, are you a Mass Effect fan? I'd like to know more about the Volus. I'm sure our history and culture would bore you, Earth Clan. Actually, I would like to know more about your history. My people came to the Citadel shortly after the Asari and Salarians had discovered it. We were instrumental in establishing a standardized galactic economy. However, despite our long association with the Citadel and our many contributions to galactic society, we still do not hold a seat on the Council. Yeah, I was actually at the start of the stream. I was I was realizing that in two days, it's going to be the fifteenth anniversary of the American release uh, of the first game. Uh, and yeah, I was like, I remember going to uh, GameStop, getting my three hundred and sixty uh, collector's edition, whatever the hell it was. And uh, yeah, and then. Um, for Mass Effect 2, I made the jump to PC, so, like, I replayed the entire first game in, like, three or four days on PC so that I would have a, uh, uh, a save to carry over. But, yeah, actually, this is my fifth or sixth with the first game. Um, now, this is my second time streaming it. I did the original trilogy six years ago on stream. And I actually, I had to go to my YouTube and like look at it, and ch and look at some of the choices I made so that I didn't repeat them here, because we're doing Renegade here, and then we did uh, Paragon on the original trilogy. And um, but yeah, like <clears throat> um, I've been meaning to replay this, so I could do Renegade, uh, and I, I didn't realize it had been six damn years since I last streamed it. Um, so yeah, so here we are, and we're just getting started. Um, I'm debating if I'm going to make this a run in which I kill as many teammates as possible. I'm debating. I'm not sure yet. Um, but yeah, but we're definitely going to go Renegade. Um, and I've already got some like big, big, big tentpole Renegade choices like, you know, checked in my head. And, uh, yeah. But anyway, yeah, I'm a huge Mass Effect, Mass Effect fan, huge Bioware fan, all that shit. Um, but I do want to do a, uh, a Mass Effect trilogy stream in which I kill as many um, uh, companions as possible. Because I remember, I think, I think GameStop did that a few years ago. And it, it was incredible, the number that they were able to knock off. Oh, you, oh, you've done that before? Okay. But yeah, and like, uh, cause GameStop posted that picture that, that you take, um, on, uh, for, for Mass Effect 3 Citadel. And it was like, it was a pitifully small number of people. It was difficult. Yeah. Like, I, uh, I've never been able to do it. So I don't know. Like, we'll see if I force myself to do it here. Actually, I would like to know more about your history. My people came to the Citadel shortly after the Asari and Salarians had discovered it. We were instrumental in establishing a standardized galactic economy. Oh yeah, we already heard all this. However, yeah, we already heard all this. Our long association with Actually, the I would like to know oh, more about fuck me. History. Fuck, 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 fuck. My people. Okay, here we go. However, despite our long association with the Citadel and our many contributions to galactic society, we still do not hold a seat on the council. Tell me about Volus culture. We are tribal by nature, but our ways are not violent. We barter and trade our lands and tribe members in order to increase status. 
Larger tribes often engulf smaller ones and eventually split again. Our society is very malleable, and our government is always shifting and changing. Since we're not physically adept, we trade our services for protection. Yeah, my favorite Volus is the one in Mass Effect 2. When you're going with um, the Asari... Whatever. Fuck, I can't remember her name. Samara. When you're going with Samara. And you run into that Volus that's like all hopped up on something. And he's trying to flex his biotic powers. And it's like, oh my god, like... I, I would have loved to have been on been a fly on the wall, fly on the wall in that development meeting where they were like, "Hey, we're gonna we're gonna do this crazy shit." What is this place? You are in the embassy for the Volus and the Elcor. Your ambassador is next door, in his own office. In this shared space, I aid my fellow Volus when I'm not being interrupted. Wow. So pleasant. What is it you do here? I look out for the best interests of the Volus people. No easy task considering how often we are overlooked by the council. Chastising rebuke, Dan. The council favors your species greatly. You are naive. The Earth Clan will be invited to the Council long before our species will. Yes. You are correct. Why aren't the Elcor or Volus part of the Council? All species must prove themselves before they join the Council. All but the Earth Clans, it would seem. Dismissive. Ignore the Volus Ambassador, human. He is incorrect in his assessment. Really? How long have we been waiting? How long do you think we'll continue to wait? Bah, this talk is wasted on the humans. Yeah, it's funny. Din reminds me of a guy I know, actually. Yeah, like somebody that I've just long since ignored because they're so resentful. You seem to have a bit of a chip on your shoulder, Din. You humans are new to the Citadel. And yet the Council has granted you great favor. Chastising rebuke, Din. Your species has always been granted many concessions. Volus territory has expanded tenfold since coming to the Citadel. <clears throat> Details. Details. We still have no real say in the decisions that affect Citadel space. Goodbye, Ambassador. Yes, yes. Good day, Earth Clan. Like, <clears throat> I just want to have a week where I where I talk at the office like people in Mass Effect. Shh. Wrong button. Details. What's up, girl? Good day, Commander. The human ambassador is up the stairs, first room on the right. You know who I am? Yes, I receive reports on all newly arrived dignitaries and notable people. What is this place? This is the Presidium. More specifically, you are at the Citadel Embassies. If you have more questions, please access Avena. What's that? Oh, Avena is the virtual guide for the Citadel. Feel free to access the terminal yourself. What's your name? What do you do here? My name is Sephiria. I'm the administrative assistant for the embassies. You seem to be distracted. The embassies are the hub of all Citadel politics. <laughs> when you represent trillions of citizens, it tends to get a little busy. I should be going now. Have a pleasant day. I should go. God damn it. I think there's a bar or something over here, right? Human, delighted, welcome. It is good to meet you. 
codex. Ooh, level up, baby. Six. Oh my god, really? Okay. 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 What? Oh, fuck. On me. Oh no, that's where I came from. Ah, CSEC. Commander Shepard, I didn't expect to see you here. Did Ambassador Udina send you? Have we met before? No, but I know you well enough. I'm Executor Palum, head of CSEC. It's my job to know when someone like you arrives on the Citadel. Was there something you needed, Commander? Someone like you. I get the feeling you're not too fond of humans. No, I just don't trust your kind. Not yet. You humans are eager to take all the power you can get. And you're being given a lot. If the Council wants to make humanity their new favorite pet, that's their business. But I don't have to like it. The Council treats us like second-class citizens. We have to fight for everything we get. Good. Then fight for it. But don't expect the rest of us to just sit back and let you take it. I'm a busy man, Commander. Are we done here? Tell me about CSEC. CSEC provides necessary police and security services throughout the Citadel. We're a civilian government agency, though many of our members have had military training. Of course, as the CSEC representative to the Council, I spend most of my time liaising. What do you know about the Spectres? They're the right hand of the Council, or so they like to be called. More like the underhanded side of the Council. What do you have against the Spectres? I can't abide any organization that considers itself above the law. Especially when it's left up to each individual Spectre to decide <coughs> when and how to bend the rules. Tell me about your investigation into Saren. Sorry, Commander. I don't make a habit of giving out details about ongoing investigations. Okay, bye. I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. I think, yeah, here it is. Oh, the biotic compound. I remember that place. That's a, uh, uh, that's a, hi, can I, there we go, but yeah, the biotic compound is something else. Don't believe the rumors, the consort would never reveal her secrets. What do you want? Oh, Commander. Is there something I can do for you? Relax, Private. This isn't an inspection. Right. Sorry. What can I do for you, Commander? What can you tell me about the Asari consort? I, uh... Well, she's an Asari who works here as... That is, she helps people with things. You never went to see her, did you, Fredericks? I, uh... No, I never did. Uh, I couldn't afford it. It costs half a year's credits just to go in and talk to her. Can you at least tell me where I can find her? Sure. 
She's across the bridge from the embassies. Thanks, kid. Have fun. Try not to get into too much trouble. I will. Have fun, that is. Nasana Dantius. I don't have time to talk now. I'm very busy. <sighs> Hello, Commander. Can I get you something? What have you got? Information, mostly. Would you like to know about some points of interest nearby? What's going on around here? Well, you found the embassies. Not much going on here. Across the bridge, you'll find the bank, the Emporium, and Shaira's. If you haven't heard of her, you soon will. If you need supplies, you can try the markets one level below. For entertainment, I'd try Flux or Cora's Den. Cora's Den. What is Shaira's? The consort? Uh, she entertains clients who can afford her services. Most of the diplomats and ambassadors have visited her at one time or another. She's a very powerful woman, but also very respected. Tell me about Flux and Cora's Den. Well, Flux has gambling and dancing, certainly more lively than this place. Cora's Den, on the other hand, well, let's just say it's livelier and deadlier all at the same time. Goodbye. So long, Commander. Have a pleasant day. <sighs> This place seems strange. Looks a little more human than around. Yeah, the CSEC guy's got to get real annoyed with the fact that his door auto opens you know, every time someone walks by. Like, can you imagine working in an office where, like, the, the door that, you know, protects you from everyone else just constantly opens and closes? I couldn't do it. Okay. Alright, what are we doing here, guys? All right, let's go get yelled at. Shit. To me. Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council. Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vicarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Sounds like you really want to bring him down. I don't trust him. Something about him rubs me the wrong way. But he's a specter. Everything he touches is classified. I can't find any hard evidence. I think the Council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. And for those that don't remember or don't know, this is your warning. The Citadel lasts a very long time in this game. And honestly, you know, I love this game and it's like one of my favorites ever. It's my second favorite out of the series, with Mass Effect 3 being my favorite. But... Um, the biggest flaw in this game is that Bioware front-loaded a ton of shit 
before you get out and start exploring the stars. So, just you've been warned. And it's not bad, it just lasts a long time. The hearing's already started. Come on. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. The mission to Eden Prime was top secret. The only way you could know about the beacon was if you were there. With Nihilus gone, his files passed on to me. I read the Eden Prime report. I was unimpressed. But what can you expect from a human? Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that. That's not his decision. Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor, and mine. Saren's hiding behind his position as a Spectre. You need to open your eyes. What we need is evidence. So far, we've seen nothing. That's Armin There's Shiverman. There's still one outstanding issue. Quark, by the way. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. This meeting is adjourned. Why is there no railing? Like, did the Empire build that place? It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. Tell me about this history between you and Saren. I worked with him on a mission a long time ago. Things went bad. Real bad. We shouldn't talk about this here. But I know what he's like. And he has to be stopped. What's our next step? As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. No. Oh. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that, Luther. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. You can't just cut Captain Anderson out of this investigation. The Ambassador's right. I need to step aside. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Saren. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the Financial District. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? An information dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Balavan's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren, but his information won't come cheap. So before this came out, 
uh, Bioware put a novel out, and the novel is Anderson being evaluated to be a Spectre when he was younger and going on a mission with Saren and uh, just how fucked everything got. So it's actually a pretty good book. I think Drew Carpishan wrote it. But, um, yeah, there there are several very good Mass Effect novels. There's a couple... Well, there's one that's terrible. And then one that's okay, but the, the original Mass Effect trilogy novels are pretty good. You and Saren have a history. What happened? About 20 years ago. I was part of a mission in the Skillian Verge. I was working with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. Saren eliminated his target, but a lot of people died along the way, innocent people. And the official records just covered it all up. But I saw how he operates. No conscience, no hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. Oh, I want to say so would I. I can't bring myself to do it. Killing innocents doesn't end wars. It causes them. I know how the world works, Commander. Sometimes you're forced to make unpleasant decisions. But only if there's no other way. Saren doesn't even look for another option. He's twisted, broken. He likes the violence, the killing. And he knows how to cover his tracks. Our ambassador doesn't seem to get along with the council. He's just frustrated. The council's always preaching that we need to be part of the galactic community. But for them, it's a one-way street. They want us to expand and settle unstable regions like the Skillian Verge and the Attican Traverse. But when we run into trouble, they don't want to help us out. Everyone knows it's only a matter of time until we get a seat on the council. The ambassador just thinks it should happen sooner rather than later. And I agree. Who cares if we get a seat on the council? What's the big deal? If the council passes a ruling on an interstellar matter, we have to follow it. We don't have the fleets or political allies to defy them. Once we get a seat on the council, we'll be able to influence those rulings, protect our own interests. No more jumping through hoops whenever we want something. Take this mess we're in now. If humanity had a seat on the council, we'd just send the Citadel fleet out to take care of Saren and his geth. Problem solved. I want to know more about the Spectres. They're not your typical government agency. They tend to work alone, behind the scenes. They take care of problems the Council can't. It's not easy preserving peace across an entire galaxy. The Council prefers to use diplomacy and negotiation. But sometimes more extreme measures are needed. What's their command structure like? There is no command structure. Each Spectre answers directly to the Council. Sometimes they're sent on specific missions. Other times, they act on their own. They tend to operate outside the law, do whatever it takes to accomplish their goals. The Council just turns a blind eye. Spectres have a lot of power, Shepard. How do they decide who becomes a Spectre? You can't just apply to join. There's no training program. Spectres aren't made. They're born. The Council's always looking for exceptional individuals, people who can get the job done like you they've been watching you for years they see something in you they want you on their side Nihilus was supposed to give them a final recommendation but with him gone things are still up in the air what happens when a specter goes rogue like Saren it doesn't happen often the council is careful when they select their candidates but when something does go wrong there's usually only one solution Send another Spectre to bring the rogue agent down. They sound like shadow operatives. Everything about them is classified. We don't even know how many there are. The latest Alliance estimate puts their numbers under a hundred. But the Council couldn't do its job without them. They're the Citadel's top agents. The last line of defense. The final option before open war. The entire galaxy respects and fears them. If a Spectre shows up, you know something big is about to happen. 
You don't think much of Harkin. The guy joined CSEC about 20 years ago. He's been an embarrassment to our species ever since. Roughing up suspects in custody, bribery accusations, alcohol and drug use. The embassy used to step in when he got in trouble. But I guess enough was enough. The guy's a scumbag. He should have been cut loose a long time ago. He was one of the first human CSEC officers. I guess it would have looked bad if he got fired. A lot of backroom deals were worked out over the years to keep him on the force. Politics is a dirty business sometimes, but it looks like his time's run out. We've got enough humans in CSEC now to stop protecting. Tell me more about the Shadow Broker. He's a necessary evil of galactic politics. Buying and selling information is a part of the game. And the Shadow Broker just happens to be the best player on the field. Always sells to the highest bidder. Doesn't get involved in politics, doesn't pick sides. A simple system, but it works. He's not a threat to anyone, not correct. He's just a resource we can use, or shields. Or maybe they are. Nobody really knows. Tell me about Barla Vaughn. He specializes in moving large sums of money without leaving a paper trail. A financial genius. Doesn't do anything illegal, but he knows all the loopholes. He's got an impressive client list. Ambassadors, diplomats, specters. That's probably why the Shadow Broker uses him. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the Ambassador's office if you need anything else. <clears throat> okay. Oh, hmm, excuse me. Oh, excuse me. This is it. The very heart of the Citadel. The pinnacle of galactic power. Kind of makes your head spin if you think about it too much. So... This is where the Council passes judgment on all this little folk, huh? Ever get the feeling ran over our heads, Commander? <coughs> Excuse me, Jesus. Ah! No, I just want to ask a couple of questions. Commander? Hmm. That guy's up to something. What guy? Oh, no, I wasn't. Never mind. Um, yes, is there something you want? Why are you so interested in the Keepers? Keepers? I've got no interest in the Keepers. Don't get coy. I know what I saw. I, uh... I'm not so sure I should be talking to you about this. We're just talking. Is there something wrong with that? No. <laughs> I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I'm using a small scanner to gather readings on the Keepers. So far, I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. Why were you being so secretive about it, though? Well, technically, we're not supposed to disturb the Keepers. I don't really think my scanning disturbs them, but the authorities might disagree. I'd like to do it more openly, but it's not really worth getting arrested over. I can help you out. I'm not worried about the authorities. I don't even know who you are. I'm Commander Shepard with the Alliance Military. Hmm. Well, I, I suppose I could use the help. You'll need this. It's the scanning device I developed. Activate it each time you see a Keeper. All collected data will automatically upload to my database. I'll even send a few credits your way for each unique scan. What are you doing with the data once you've scanned it? Trying to learn whatever I can about the Keepers. We see them working everywhere, yet we know so little about them. I'm a scientist. I want to know what makes them tick. What are you doing with the data once you've scanned it? Trying to learn whatever I can about the Keepers. We see them working everywhere. I'm a scientist. I want to know what makes them tick. I should get going then. I should go. Yes, I have much work myself. So long, and good luck with the scanning. Something like that without the council knowing? Maybe the council doesn't. Everyone already assumes he's just doing their dirty work. That's dangerous talk. I'd be careful who you mention that to. I know. Okay. <clears throat> I 
Yeah, we're just scanning some keepers and then we're gonna go play some more. And actually, it's funny, I used to know where all the keepers are. That's the one I scanned. I actually don't anymore. And I think... I think we get all but one companion before we leave the Citadel. Ashley. Oh. Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. It's too bad Ashley doesn't speak her mind. All right. And Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? Because it's a big stupid jellyfish. How can I convince my superior that I deserve a promotion if I cannot convince this annoying jelly to leave? I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. Why don't you just arrest the Hanar? I could arrest the jelly, but my superior has requested that I find a solution that does not anger the Hanar. The Hanar become vocal when they feel their religious beliefs are being suppressed. If you'd like, I could talk to the Hanar for you. I have argued that the stubborn jelly all... Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the Honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? The CSEC officer is just doing his job. You're causing trouble. This one is too humble to suggest that the CSEC officer is personally biased. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. Oh no, I'm not high enough. I'll be back. Yeah, we're gonna have this to. This one will continue to spread its message. Oh, shit. Damn. <clears throat> Alright. I will come back. After I've leveled. Okay. So we gotta talk to we gotta find Harkin and Barlavon. So yeah, we'll, we'll talk to both of them because. Harkin's fun. What's this? One of the Earth Clan. Ah, a very famous one, yes? You are the one called Shepherd. You were at Torfin, correct? You led the final assault against the enemy base, 
memory serves. I don't like strangers keeping tabs on me. Forgive me, Earth Clan. My name is Barla Vaughn. My job makes it necessary for me to keep informed. I am a financial advisor to many important clients here on the Citadel. When someone as important as yourself arrives on the station, I take notice. I heard you work for the Shadow Broker. Do you have any information about Saren? You're very blunt, Shepard. But you're right. I am an agent for the Shadow Broker. And I do know something about Saren. I need that information. Now. Threats don't work on me, Commander. This information is worth a small fortune. But this is an unusual situation. So I am going to let you have it for free. What's the catch? Right. There is no catch. The Shadow Broker is quite upset with Saren right now. Mm. They used to do a lot of business until Saren turned on him. Saren betrayed him. Imagine that. No matter what you think of Saren, he's not stupid. He knows the Shadow Broker is a valuable ally. Turning on him doesn't make sense. Not unless something huge was at stake. I don't know the details, but the Shadow Broker hired a freelancer to deal with it. A Krogan mercenary. Ah! That's not much to go on. I just told you that the most famous specter in the galaxy betrayed the Shadow Broker. Quite a bargain, considering the price. Speak with the Krogan if you want to learn more. I heard he was paying a visit to Citadel Security. If you hurry, you might catch him before he leaves the Academy. Isn't it strange that a Krogan would want to speak with C-Sec? Very. However, I doubt the visit was entirely his choice. You'll need to speak with him if you want to know more. What's it like living here on the Citadel? The station is without a doubt the greatest wonder in the galaxy. It is a technological marvel, but its true splendor goes much deeper than the hull and engines. From the Presidium to the wards, the entire station is a testament to the success of the Council. All the species of Citadel spaced together in a single strong community. What are the wards like? The cultural heart of the galaxy. They pulse with the lifeblood of millions of citizens from dozens of different species. You never know what you'll find out in the wards, Commander. It's always full of surprises. Fortunately, most of them are pleasant. What makes the Presidium so special? It is the political center of Citadel space. 80% of all intelligent species in the known galaxy acknowledge the Council's authority on interstellar matters. But only the most powerful and influential species have embassies here on the Presidium. This level of the station is reserved for the elite, Shepard people like us. Huh. Tell me more about the Shadow Broker. Most people think I deal in finances, but my real currency is knowledge. I trade information, and it has made me very wealthy. But the Shadow Broker is the true master. Every day he buys and sells secrets that could topple governments, always giving them to the highest bidder. Yet somehow he never seems to upset the natural balance of power. All those secrets being passed around seem to even out. Nobody ends up with an advantage in the end. Any guess what his identity might be? I don't know. Nobody does. The Shadow Broker could be any race, any gender. I have a theory that it's actually an entire group working under one identity. How else could they juggle so many contacts at the same time? How else could they keep all that information from getting crossed? But they've got the perfect setup. Every government is forced to play their game so they don't get behind. But no matter how long you play, no matter how many secrets you buy, you can never win. I thought you'd know more about the man you work for. From time to time, I come across information I sell to the Shadow Broker. That's my only involvement. I like it that way. The more you know, the more dangerous the game becomes. I don't like danger, Commander. I'll leave that to you. Tell me more about your job. Galactic finance is incredibly complex. 
A mix of laws and regulations from dozens of interstellar economies. I'm an expert in how all these economies interact. For a fee, I share my expertise. I also offer premium services for those clients who need someone to conduct business without drawing unwanted attention. Discreet and efficient. That's my motto. Sounds pretty shady. Everything I do falls completely within the bounds of interstellar commerce law. Even so, many of my clients would prefer their transactions remain undisclosed. For example, suppose a Hanar ambassador was petitioning the council to reduce tariffs on Hanar goods. How would it look if he had money invested in a Hanar exporting company? Even if his true motives were to help his people, he would be accused of advancing the petition for his own personal gain. I can keep his personal finances private. Still sounds shady to me. Then we can only hope you will never be cursed with a large enough fortune to require my services. Fair enough. Fair enough. I should go. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. I'm trying to remember when I get the mission that ends back here. I like that one. Ah, human. This one is greatly pleased to see you here in my decadent emporium. Who are you? This one's face name is Della Ninder, though many in this place simply refer to it as Della. Please take time to examine the fine goods it has for purchase, all of great worth. Why do you refer to yourself as this one and it? For the same reason that humans are so inquisitive. It is part of our culture. Specifically, Hanar only refer to themselves in the first person with family or intimates. And we rarely do so with other species. It is just our way. What exactly do you sell? Only the finest and most luxurious items that credits can buy. This one is able to procure almost any item the human would desire. For a price, naturally. Naturally. Who are you? This one's face name is Della Ninder. Though many... Please take time to examine the fine goods it has for purchase, all of great worth. Show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. Okay, what do we got? Ooh, that's expensive. All right, let's go down to the license. Ten thousand. I can't afford that. <clears throat> yeah. So we're just gonna we're gonna only have bought the license. Commander, show me your items. Oh, this one is. Okay. Go ahead. Well, we gotta come by here with Rex. Oh, consort. Party. 
party. Okay. So what's everyone playing this weekend? Everyone just let them go on doing whatever it is they do. Playing the forest right now. Oh, okay. Yeah, how are you liking that? Welcome. I am Nalina. I don't recognize you as one of our expected clients today. Would you like me to see when the consort will be able to meet with you? Can't I just go in? Mm, I'm afraid not. Yeah, you must understand there are many who seek the consort services. But if you wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort to meet with you. It's pretty good. We did two of the endings last night. We're just searching for some of the stuff we missed now. Cool. Commander Shepard with the Alliance Navy. Excellent. You should hear something in um, three or four months. Nobody's worth that much of a wait. <laughs> well, that's not for me to judge. I have your name, and you'll be contacted. Is there anything else? What is the consort? What does she do? Mm, it's difficult to explain. She's many things to many people, and something different for each. Some seek her for advice, some for entertainment, others still for pleasure. Most of the time, our clients won't realize what they were seeking until after she has provided it for them. You make her sound like some kind of oracle. No, not in the usual sense. She's merely a woman. A woman with remarkable compassion and a generous spirit. I suggest you make an appointment and see for yourself. Yeah, I want to play a fuckload more Pentiment this weekend. I can't believe how good that game is. What do you do here, Nalina? I'm one of the Consort's acolytes. Many of the people here today will not see the Consort, but they expect to be attended to just the same. It's our job to ensure that they leave contented. What exactly do you attend to? Well, each acolyte has her unique abilities. Some soothe with song, others with conversation. As much as possible, we seek to match the needs of our clients to the skills of our acolytes. My specialty is touch. My fingertips can find every tension point in your body and relieve it. Ooh. I'd like to try out your services. Excellent. I'll add you to our client list. We should be able to see you in mm, three or four months. Bye. I think I'm done here. Oh, well, I hope you'll return again in the future. We always enjoy seeing new clients. Nalina. Yes, Shaira? Send the commander up to see me. I wish to speak with her. Yes, of course, mistress. It appears the consort has taken notice of you. She'd like to meet with you now. Where do I go? Just head upstairs. She'll be waiting for you. I see even the humans find the consort irresistible. This is my first time. I can't believe I didn't come sooner. Welcome. It is a pleasure to see you. You're with the Alliance? My brother's a private back on Earth. A human female. It's a cool bed. Or whatever it is. Like a giant domed butthole. That is close enough, Commander. I've heard a great many things about you since your arrival here in our Citadel. I don't like people spying on me. I apologize, Commander. I make it my business to know when important people arrive on the station. Many of them become clients. But that is not why I asked you here. I have a certain problem that could use your expertise. 
Get to the point. I have a friend, Septimus, a retired Turian general. I won't discuss the details, but he wanted me to be more than I could be. We had a falling out. Now he spends his days in Korra's den, drinking and spreading lies about me. If you would speak to him as a fellow soldier, I believe he will listen to you and let the matter be. What happened between you? I respect his privacy too much to go into the details. If he wishes to tell you what happened, that is his prerogative. I don't make any promises, but I'll see what I can do. Thank you, Commander. That is all I can ask. Appeal to his sense of honor. Remind him of his position as a general. If you can convince him to stop spreading lies about me, I would be very grateful. Well, now I must ask you to take your leave. I have many clients waiting to see me. I can't tell the aliens from the animals. Oh my god, Ashley. Big place. Oh, Ashley is just the absolute... Just like white trash of the galaxy. I have to admit, I'm a little nervous. That's understandable. Many are a little unsure what to expect in person. Don't get me wrong. Oh, man. Sorry, I'm having kind of a rough day in terms of chronic pain. Shit. Allow me to be your guide. No. Okay. Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. Okay, here's where I wanted to go. Okay. In light of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. Yep. Ah, oh, there's my man. Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. You want me to arrest you? I want you to try. <laughs> Go on. Get out of here. Yes, human. I'm trying to bring down Saren. Barla Vaughn said to talk to you. Barla Vaughn is a wise man. We may share a common goal, human. Spit it out, or are you trying to build suspense? <laughs> I like you, Shepard. I've been hired to kill the owner of Korra's den, a man named Fist. He did something very foolish. What'd he do? He betrayed the Shadow Broker. A Quarian showed up here on the Citadel. He was on the run. She wanted to trade information for a safe place to hide, so she went to Fist. 
He promised to arrange a meeting between her and the Shadow Broker. Instead, he contacted Saren. What does Saren have to do with this? Well, the Corian has something that connects Saren to the Geth. He paid Fist a small fortune for her. If we get our hands on that evidence, we can prove that Saren's a traitor. And the Council will have to listen to us. Where's the Quarian now? Last I heard, Fist still had her. Probably somewhere inside his club. You help me kill Fist, she's all yours. I want to know more about your employer. Can't tell you much. All I got was a coded message with the details of the job. Standard procedure. What about Garrus, that Turian? He wants to take Saren down too. He might come in handy. He was here just before you showed up. Said he was going to follow up a lead on his investigation. Wanted to speak to the doctor at the med clinic. Move out. Oh, actually. Okay. Alright, so we are headed to the wards. Yeah, I think we're going to romance Caden through the entire trilogy so I can get that achievement. Oh, yeah, I don't have... I'm not leveled enough to handle that goddamn uh, Hanar. The Solarian excavation team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Hanar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. The excavation team has appealed to Hanar representatives on the Citadel to reach a diplomatic solution. Yeah, this crazy religious fanatic Hanar. But it's interesting, though, because while I am no friend to organized religion, it, you know, those folks have done a lot to preserve ancient relics and shit. Fist is going to be pissed if we take down his supplier. That's the point. We want him angry. Angry people make him sick. And we lost Rex back there somewhere. You've got impressive biotic power. Humans should never have switched to the weaker L3 implants. My addicts can be pretty bad, and I'm one of the lucky L2 implants. The L3s are safer. You don't stop using a gun just because the kickback has a little sting. Oh my god. All right, so we got to find um, 
Garus. Okay. Commander Shepard? Excuse me, Commander Shepard! I'm Emily Wong. I'm an investigative journalist working here on the Citadel. Could I have a moment of your time? What do you need? I've been hunting for evidence of corruption and organized crime on the Citadel, but there are places I can't go. I was hoping you might share anything you find during your own investigation. I can make it worth your time. How do you know that my investigation is going to uncover anything you need? You wouldn't be investigating if it weren't big. And if it's big, it's something I'd like to hear about. It's huge. It's enormous. You gotta have access to better sources. Why contact me? I'm using every source I can find, but I think I've got a better shot with you. I read about the Siege of Torfin, sending your men to their deaths, shooting slavers as they tried to surrender. I need someone who isn't afraid to get their hands dirty. Someone who'll do what needs to be done. That's you. How do you know I'm investigating anything here on the Citadel? I'm a good journalist, Commander Shepard. Word gets around. No promises, but if I find anything relating to your case, I'll inform you. Thank you, Commander. You won't regret it. All right. I don't think you bought this. I don't sell this lot. Look, I know it was you. I remember your face. Really? That's impressive. Usually, you humans can't tell one Turian from another. This was the place. Now, are you going to give me a refund or not? Do you have your proof of purchase? What? No, no, I, I, I don't think you ever gave me one. I'm sorry. I can't help. But what would you... Can't help. Best place on this ward to buy upgrades. Hello, Earth Clan. No doubt you've just come back from the colonies. Will you be needing supplies? What colonies are you talking about? Oh, my mistake, Earth Clan. I assumed it doesn't matter. Pharos? Novaria? Well, if you haven't heard of them yet, I'm sure you will soon. Yeah. But it doesn't matter where you hail from. My goods are available to all. I'd like to know more about Pharos. It's an old Prothean world. Their buildings still litter the surface. The humans aren't the first to colonize it, but they are the most recent. Hmm. I just realized I haven't heard from my contact on that planet for some time. Ah, uh, well, I'm sure he's fine. What can you tell me about Novaria? The corporate capital of the Attican Traverse. Very cold. Very snowy. I don't get too many clients from there. They all have their own private suppliers. Show me what you've got. Most excellent. I am sure you will find something pleasing. All right, so first things first, let's buy a license. Oh, and a metal gel. Oh. Why am I so much poorer in this game than I usually am at this point? Okay. I got the license, so... All right, let's talk to the best character in all of Mass Effect. Wow, it's you. You're Commander Shepard, the hero of Eden Prime. I am so honored to meet you. Do I know you? Uh, no, no, I'm just a fan. One of your biggest fans, actually. My name is Conrad, Conrad Werner. They say you killed more than a hundred Geth on Eden Prime. They say a lot of things. 
I was too busy killing them to count. Hey, uh, I know you're probably busy, but um, do you have time for a quick autograph? Anything for a fan. Here. Thanks. I really appreciate it. My wife is going to be so impressed. I'll let you get back to work. Oh, but next time you're on Earth, I'd love to buy you a drink. Thanks again. But yeah, Conrad Werner. There are a few unlicensed vendors who operate out of the markets here. Sometimes they have good stuff for sale. The prices are pretty good here. Yeah, Conrad Werner is objectively the best character in all of Mass Effect. Okay, so that so that goes to the Presidium. Yeah, that goes to CSEC. Alright, I think we finally get to shoot something. I didn't tell anyone, I swear. That was smart, Doc. Now if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or we'll Who are you? Let her go. Okay. There we go. Area secured. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. He took him down clean. Sometimes you get lucky. Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you. All of you. Why were they threatening you? Who do they work for? They worked for Feast. They wanted to shut me up. Keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. The one I told you about, Shepard. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. You're a Turian. Why do you want to bring him down? I couldn't find the proof I needed in my investigation, but I knew what was really going on. Saren is a traitor to the Council, and a disgrace to my people. Welcome aboard, Garrus. Fist is going to be waiting for us. When we hit him, we better hit him hard. Okay. Let's go. Thank you, dear. Yeah, I guess we don't really have anything extra to equip them with. It's okay. I 
never properly thanked you for saving me from Fist's thugs, Commander. Ooh la la. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't been there. You're a doctor. How did you end up here on the Citadel? My parents brought me here when I was young. My father was a medic with the Alliance. I chose to keep the medical tradition alive, but not the military. Fixing up wounded soldiers isn't my idea of fun. Let me take a look at what you have for sale. Of course. Okay. Got to keep my tank boy fresh. Not tank like tank red or Mass Effect 2, but yeah. Rex is my tank, so to speak. How do you get to Chorus then? Is Over here, yeah, okay. Okay, He's done. Oh, 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 oh. I thought you were passing along a message from a girl that you were actively having sex with. But you mean the contractor. Good. Looks like it shut down. This knows Take cover. And you're dick. And your dick. Yes. Yes, I am. Okay. That's it. Bag him attack.
that guy was there really late. Stop right there. Don't come any closer. Warehouse workers. All the real guards must be dead. Stay back or we'll shoot. I just killed 50 bodyguards to get in here. Ha! What do you think I'll do to you? Uh, well, uh, uh screw Fist. <clears throat> he doesn't pay us enough for this. It would have been quicker to just kill them. Shooting people isn't always the answer. Okay, we got renegade points. I can't believe how late that guy was at your house. <clears throat> he was there till midnight last Saturday. Jesus. He really must have had a ton of work to do. You know, I, I'm sorry, I've got to change these controls. Surrender. Tell me where the Quarian is, and I won't have to shoot you in the kneecaps. She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's no use to you now. Let me kill him. Wait, wait. I don't know where the Quarian is, but I know where you can find her. The Quarian isn't here. Said she'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Face to face? Impossible. Even I was hired through an agent. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker, ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. Tell me where that meeting is before I blow your lying head off. Here on the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. What are you doing? The Shadow Broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. A lot of people died because of him. He had it coming. Now let's move. We have to save that Quarian. God damn it.
Oh, that's where I'm supposed to meet the, the general later. I was like, why is that marked? Where's the shadow broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. couldn't trust him were you hurt in the fight I know how to look after myself not that I don't appreciate the help who are you my name's Shepard I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life but not here <clears throat> we need to go somewhere safe we could take her to the human embassy your ambassador will want to see this anyway You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards and all-out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many... Who's this? A Quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? This Quarian can help us bring down Saren. I would have told you that if you hadn't jumped down my throat. I apologize, Commander. This whole thing with Saren has me a bit on edge. Maybe we should just start at the beginning, Miss... My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. I've never heard of this before. It is a tradition among my people. When we reach maturity, we leave the ships of our parents and our people behind. Alone, we search the stars, only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. In this way, we prove ourselves worthy of adulthood. What kinds of things do you look for? It could be resources like food or fuel, or some type of useful technology, or even knowledge that will make life easier on the flotilla. Through our pilgrimage, we prove that we will contribute to the community, rather than being a burden on our limited resources. Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Veil. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. How did you manage to preserve the memory core? My people created the Geth. If you're quick, careful, and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. Most of the core was wiped clean, but I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. He said Eden Prime brought him one step closer to finding the Conduit. Any idea what that means? The Conduit must have something to do with the Beacon. Maybe it's some kind of Prothean technology. Like a weapon. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. It's Counselor Troy! I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. Are they some kind of new alien species? 
According to the memory core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. They won't believe you anyway. Just keep them out of this. We have to tell them. Even if they don't believe anything else, this proves Saren is a traitor. The Captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. What about her? The Quarian? My name is Tali. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. I thought you were on your pilgrimage. The pilgrimage proves we are willing to give of ourselves for the greater good. What does it say about me if I turn my back on this? Saren is a danger to the entire galaxy. My pilgrimage can wait. I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks. You won't regret this. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the Council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. <clears throat> Okay. Oh, we need to go deal with uh, Hanar. Okay. 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 <clears throat> yeah, I'm sorry I haven't been chattier. I think I'm a little tired. But also, yeah, it's just been like one of those days where it's like I've been going from one thing to the next to the next. And part of it is I just love playing this game. Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Bhatia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. A lot of people want my help these days. 
What makes you special? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. Wait, the 212? Your wife was serviceman Narali Bhatia. I'm Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams. I served in her unit. Chief Williams, it is a pleasure. Nirali spoke of you with great respect. I'm so sorry for your loss, Mr. Bhatia. Nirali was a good woman. What can we do for you? I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. There's no reason for your wife's body to be held like this. Just wait here. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral and the respect she deserves. God damn it. My goodness, your Commander Shepard. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the diplomatic corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? Yes. A man named Samesh Bhatia is having some trouble claiming his wife's body. Ah, Mr. Bhatia. A good man in an understandably frustrating position. I wish I could help him. Serviceman Nirali Bhatia died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Bhatia no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. You're studying her injuries to learn more about Geth weaponry. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Bhatia may save more lives in death than she did in life. You gotta have a lot of bodies. Can't you release one? Very few bodies had this new type of weapon damage, and very few were in good enough condition to study. Beyond that, Commander, we need as many bodies as we can to get a reasonable sample size. When will this research result in actual new technology? If we're lucky, we'll actually realize usable technology from this study in a few years. How long do you think this research is going to take? This is a long-term study. I wouldn't expect the bodies to be released for a year or longer. I'll tell Samesh. Next time you cut up a dead soldier, at least tell her husband the truth. That was just the reaction we were hoping to avoid, Commander. But if you think it will help, tell Mr. Bhatia the truth. Perhaps he will understand. Please let me know if you have any other questions. Jesus Christ. I don't have time to talk now. I'm very busy. Yeah, I gotta switch the controls <clears throat> to something, you know, more in line with what I like to use, but now, of course, I'm fucking it up right and left. Hello, Commander. Has any progress been made with Mr. Bosker? Will he return my wife's body? Tell me again what you've been told about your wife. As I said, I've been told nothing. I don't understand why they won't release her body to me. It's not as simple as I'd hoped. The military needs your wife's body for important tests. Tests? They're holding my wife's body for tests? My wife served the Alliance faithfully. She gave her life for humanity. And this is how they repay her. Samesh, right now, more people are going to die unless the military runs those tests. This isn't about them. This is about my wife, the woman the military killed. This is war. People die. If you want to keep that to a minimum, let them run those tests. You think I've not given enough? Don't speak to me of duty. Yep. My wife is dead. Yes, she is, Mr. Bhatia. She died fighting for what she believed in. She sacrificed her life to keep you safe. 
I think she'd want to make the most of that sacrifice. You're right, Miss Williams. She would not flinch from her duty. Let them run their tests. Let my wife save lives so that others are spared the loss I feel today. Goodbye. Thank you for finding me answers. Yep. Okay, um... Shit! Oh, I've got to go down to the Krogan statue with Rex. What else? What else do I need to do? Um, Septimus. So let's go back to the wards. Oh, let's see if I can yell at the jellyfish yet. Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the Honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? The CSEC officer is just doing his job. You're causing trouble. This one is too humble to suggest that the CSEC officer is personally biased. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. Damn. I'll be back. I'll be back. This one will continue to spread its message. Okay, so I've got to level at least it like one more time, or maybe he will stay there. So Williams, you happy you signed on with Commander Shepard? I'm not sure, Lieutenant. Every time I think I have a handle on things, the universe banks hard to port. Well, don't let anybody know. A big gun and a confident attitude will get you through a lot in life. Yeah, also, Davlin, last weekend I was in Green Bay, so there was really no point in you streaming anyway. group had contracted binary helix to perform studies with a long-range goal of curing their genetic sterilization the group later sued for a return of investment money when the study produced no viable results i can still stream i don't know dude Oh, okay, so let's, let's go to, fuck, let's go to Cora's Den first. Man, the Citadel just takes forever in this game. Like, I warned all of you, like, we're going to be here for a little bit. And for someone who hates the cold, you sure do pick, dude, I'll tell you what. That was the coldest I've been in years, but I still had a great time. Like football, so if it's a good football team like the Packers, you know, it, it can be fun to watch. If it's a terrible team like the Bears, then you, all you're doing is just being cold and like nothing else. Like you're literally just watching people fail while you're cold. I got business here, but not with you. Commander! What do you want? I'm here on Shayira's behalf. Your lies are hurting her. Good! The lies have been killing me for days. I've seen a lot of horrible things in my days, and... 
There's only one woman in this damn galaxy that helps me forget it. So if you feel that way, then why spread lies about her? Because she rejected me. Me! Septimus Araka, General of the Turian Fleet. Some general? What kind of example are you to your troops? The troops can kiss my leathery backside. All I wanted was to retire and be with her. Look, kid, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but don't waste your time. Never let the enemy see your weakness. You know that, General. Enemies? The one place I always felt at peace was with her. But now, so you think it's that easy? Just straighten up and act like a general? I don't think it could hurt. Huh. Maybe you're right, Commander. Shaira's worth the effort, even if she won't have me back. This is no place for someone of your stature, General. All right. I'll go to her. After I've had a cold shower or two. Say, you're a bright kid. Would you be interested in earning a few extra credits? What do you want me to do? There's an Elcor diplomat out there who believes Shaira gave up his secrets. Why does he think that? Because I told him. Look, I just need you to convince him of the truth. What makes you think he'll believe me? You'll bring him proof. Take this data pad. It shows where I got my info. It will exonerate Shaira and convince the Elcor. Who am I taking it to? And where is he? His name is Zeltan. He's an Elcor diplomat. He's over in the embassies complaining about Shaira. Well, here's to soldiers acting like soldiers. Thanks, Commander. You know, you might make a good general yourself one day. Hard to imagine a general like that getting so upset about a woman. That's because you don't understand women. Go away. Let me let me drink. Boy, they cleaned this place up fast after I shot it to pieces. Yeah. And we're probably going to wrap up in the next 15, 20 minutes. Hello there. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. You will see. Okay. Hello there. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies. Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. You will see. Man, still don't have enough for that. Got him. Poor. Like, all these are worth dog shit. Okay. Whatever. So... What do I still need to do? Oh, consort. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wrong. Drew you back to the Citadel and to the Consort. 
I don't know exactly. It may sound strange, but I've simply felt called. That's not strange. All right. Commander, I recently received a lovely note from Septimus. Thank you for speaking with him. I'm glad I could help. You are too kind, Commander. But I would not expect you to help me out of the kindness of your heart. I also have one more thing to give you, if you are interested. What are you offering me? I offer a gift of words, an affirmation of who you are and who you will become. I see you. Your uniform fits as though you were born wearing it. You are a soldier through and through, proud, solitary, alone. But it gives you strength. You never hide your strength, either. It serves you well, terrifies your foes. Few will dare to stand against you. This may be who you are, but it is not who you will become. It only forms the basis for your future greatness. Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. Um, thanks, I guess. Close your eyes and relax, Commander. And now I must ask you to leave. I have done everything I can for you. Remember my words, Commander Shepard. I can't tell the aliens from the animals. Oh my god. Ashley. Okay, let's go to the embassy so we can talk to the Elcor. Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. Nope. I'm getting some occasional hitching in the frame rate. No, that's annoying. Mucho disappointing. Yep, here we go. Strange greeting, human. This is really not a good time. I know who revealed your secret. It was a Turian named Septimus. Unbelieving. I know this Septimus, and he could not learn my secret. <sighs> the only way he could learn them is from the Asari consort. Not true. Look at this. Confused. This is difficult to fathom. If the Turian could learn this on his own, dismayed, anyone can discover my secret. Septimus is a powerful man, and it wasn't easy for him to find. Relieved. I suppose you are correct, human. Thank you for this information. Startled realization. I must speak with the consort. She will be most displeased with my actions. Anxious request. Please, human, if you will excuse me, I must go now. So long. Farewell, human. Thankful. That was a great thing you did, Commander. Approving. You see, then not all humans are as you say. I'm sure the Earth Clan stands to profit from. Okay, so to scan the keepers, I've still got to deal with that guy. Oh, um. Oh, I'm ready, ready to deliver this. Okay. Some way. Shut up, Din. Welcome to the Presidium. Allow 
Alright, um... Yeah, we'll go to the markets. That'll do, pig. Word on the street is that you've been busy. Congratulations on taking down Fist. I was sure he was a big player in anything going on here. Did you find anything in his office that could help me? These OSDs might have the information you're looking for. <sighs> You've got Fist's files? This could be even bigger than I'd hoped. Here, Commander, for your trouble. <clears throat> I had to kill people for these discs. They're worth more than you're offering. I didn't tell you to kill Fist, but you're right. I suppose that I did ask you to help me, so here, this should be more than adequate. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should go see what's on these discs. I should go. So what's... Well, how are we looking for Renegade? Okay, so we're, we're just a little tiny bit in there. Okay. Um, what's next? All right, so let's go to the tower. Motherfucker. Like, imagine being in a position where you keep accidentally pulling your gun. That's what I'm dealing with. There's a Bioware and their wag-ass uh, default controls in this. Like, you're just walking down the street, and you're like, ah, 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 you know. No bueno. Come on. Udina's presenting the Quarian's evidence to the Council. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Venezia. Who is she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Venezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Proteans. Then they vanished. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods. And Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this conduit is? Saren thinks it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. 50,000 years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. 
A citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. Every time humanity asks for help, you ignore us. Shepard's right. I'm sick of this council and its anti-human bull- Ambassador. Uh. There is another solution. A way to stop Saren that does not require fleets or armies. No. It's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. It was a Turian Spectre who betrayed this council. And it was a human who exposed him. I have earned this. Commander Shepard, step forward. I. Love this music. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectre is not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. I've been ready for this since Eden Prime. We're sending you into the Traverse after Saren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. We more or less knocked out the Citadel tonight. Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. If I had any money. I could use some money. Can I have some money? Not even a thank you from the Ambassador. What do you expect from a politician? Come on. Right behind you, Commander. Nope. Still pulled my weapon by accident. This is it. The very heart of the Citadel. The pinnacle of galactic power. But yeah, you got me twice tonight, Davlin. Twice. I'm a little shocked and appalled. All right, now will Kahoku talk to me? No, I'm wait. Yes. Congratulations on becoming the first human Spectre commander. I'm certain you'll be up to the challenge. Who told you I was a Spectre? I'm a senior officer with the Alliance. I knew about your candidacy before the Normandy was sent to Eden Prime. My name is Admiral Kahoku. It's about time the Alliance got one of our own in with the Spectres. We need people like you to deal with our problems. Is something wrong, Admiral? I'm getting stonewalled by bureaucratic assholes. <laughs> Nothing new. Maybe you can help me, Shepard. One of my recon teams was investigating some strange activity out in the Traverse. We lost contact yesterday. Now I can't get clearance to check it out. Suddenly it's a restricted area. But that doesn't apply to you, Shepard. Spectres can go anywhere they want. You could find out why my team dropped out of contact. Kicking Atari's ass at golf. Yeah, actually, I need to get in. I need to get in a round of golf this weekend. I'll find them, Admiral. I appreciate that, Commander. I was running out of options. I'm going to stay here and see if I can find anything out through official channels. Won't hold my breath, though.
Okay. Oh, whoops. Oh, excuse me. Did you know the mini skirt? Oh, did you buy the mini skirt for the golf goblin? Not yet. I haven't. I haven't uh, touched him, so to speak, since we played two weeks ago. Because like shit's just been stupid busy. I hope he's okay. I'm on a break. Talk to someone else if you need anything. I've got a lot on my mind. Maybe I can help. Hmm. Well, maybe you can. You're a soldier, right? You ever head out to the Traverse? I'm not just some soldier. I'm a specter. A specter? I heard they were thinking about letting humans into the ranks. About time. Well, that means you can go anywhere you want, right? Even out into the Traverse? My brother's the captain of a ship called the Majesty. It was crossing the Traverse a few days ago when it disappeared. Just dropped right off the grid. And that usually means one of two things. They had massive mechanical failure, or they were attacked. Neither one of those options leaves a lot of hope. I won't give up on my brother. Not yet. I've got the coordinates for the last transmission from his vessel. What kind of ship was it? Don't let the name fool you. The Majesty's just a small trading vessel, only a handful of crew. But he kept it in good condition. I don't think mechanical failure is too likely. But they don't have any real weapons or shields. If anyone did come after them, the Majesty'd be a sitting duck. Isn't anyone else looking into this? My brother's just a small independent trader. Ships like his disappear in the Traverse all the time. What's in this for me? I can't afford to pay you anything. If I had that kind of cash, I'd have hired a recovery team to track him down already. Maybe you could look into this as a personal favor, you know? We humans have to stick together. Give me the coordinates. I'll forward them to your ship right away. Please let me know as soon as you find him. Okay, let's go deal with the fucking hand. Fuck! To me! God damn it. I've got a specter that repeatedly accidentally pulls her gun. Yeah. That's going to become a problem at some point. In other news, Exogenicorp is still denying reports that one of their survey teams has gone missing in the Hades Gamma Cluster. When asked why communication with the survey team was suddenly cut off last week, company officials refused to comment. All right, we're going to go deal with the fucking jelly. Um, and then I think we're gonna depart. Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the Honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? The CSEC officer is just doing his job. You're causing trouble. This one is too humble to suggest that the CSEC officer is personally biased. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. <sighs> Finally. I don't care about your intent. You're making all Hanar look like troublemaking zealots. This one does not wish to prejudice the listeners against the Hanar. You Hanar deserve what you get. You're either too snobbish or too stupid to follow simple rules. This one will obey. It does not wish to prejudice other species against the Hanar. Ooh. This one departs now and will not intrude upon the Presidium again. Nice. I see the Hanar has left. Thank you. Somebody needed to set that thing straight and it obviously wasn't going to be you. You have already demonstrated your ability. I acknowledge it, and I will learn from your example. 
Here, for your assistance in this matter. Money. If you'll excuse me, I should report to my superiors. Okay, now... Okay, let's look. Um, let's see. So, okay, Julie. Let me get this straight. Your business partner, sure. He's threatened you. Well, no, uh, not exactly. But he wants to meet with me. I think he's going to kill me. And why do you think? Okay, so... Um... Yeah, so we're not quite free yet. This is where we're going to start next week. <laughs> 